Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Um, so, once again, um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, since I'm trying to save time and space on my blog, um, I'm just going to go ahead and explain my new build here. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and make a video about it. Um, latest edition. Uh, finally got, finally got her. Her name's Davinia. And, um, her main, um, her main trade here, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna randomly buff somebody. Every time I get, every time I match four or five gems, yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna buff, uh, buff somebody at random. Kind of wish I'd explain, explain more over here on the right, but oh well. And then, um, and she got, she really helps, on one end she helps complete this group because she requires red and yellow mana, which, uh, the other three guys here don't have. And her ability, um, she, expl it's another exploder, another exploder just like this guy here. Uh, but she blows up all the red gems. So this is... If you guys remember... If you guys remember him... And I'm trying to I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, Zephyroth. But this is also one drawback she's got. Because... She requires red mana... To charge up her... Uh, charge up her spell. But then she blows up all the other red gems. Which kind of... Which kind of hamstrings her... Hamstrings any future development... So there's there's some double dipping here. On the upside though, um, she can she can cleanse all allies and for those again for those that don't know, cleansing works the same way as the Asuna skill in Final Fantasy XIV. It dispels all their debuffs and it heals them somewhat. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's very valuable, especially when um. The, the B chick here, she has a she has a trade here that she has the same thing. She dispels debuffs whenever you match four or five gems. But the big problem is is uh one of the debuffs out there called stun. It all it shuts down all of these traits, like you there blocks them out. You have no access to them, and so having royal honey here blocked out can be disastrous for this for this group. So. Luckily, if that becomes an issue, then this this is a uh, this gives me edge and spades right here because casting this will cleanse everybody else, including her stun. So then it'd be business as usual. Um, the healing kind of helpful. It can it can help in a pinch. Like if somebody's health is really low. But I don't, as far as I know, there is no way to increase this without somehow increasing their uh, their magic rating. Um, and uh, I guess I could go ahead and, oh, someone's chatting with me. Oh, chat back. But I'll go ahead and do a. I'll just pick this one. Um, I'll just make it difficulty four. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not actually doing any mat farming. I just want to do a sample. Okay, but one huge drawback to having her on my team, though, is this is no longer going to be an automatic team now. Um, at least for the early part, for the early part of a match, I have to start cherry picking gems because unlike unlike my leprechaun, she does not start out with full mana. So, so now the priority. 
is just basically looking for your standard uh, four or five match. Failing that, uh, focusing on brown gems, trying to get him, trying to get him maxed out so I can start blowing him up. So yeah, now that I think, of, now that I think about it, the double dipping is kind of a non-factor. So yeah, it, it just kind of occurred to me. I think when I was complaining about Zephyroth, or yeah, Zephyroth, 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 I'm I'm babbling on here, but um, because. Zephyrop's ability, it doesn't actually explode gems. It just simply destroys them. It just simply removes them. It doesn't blow up all the other gems around it. So, I think that's what I was, that was my main gripe with him. So, she explodes them. Less of an issue. Let me move along. But anyway. You know, then, you know, trying to get him going. So he can start blowing up gems and mass A. Failing that. Then it's probably going to be this girl here, red and yellow. Uh, whatever I can get. Well, there goes my brownies. Um. So I guess I do. Oops. I screwed that up. Oh well. I got a I got a brown out of that. So. And blow up almost the entire board. So, and then getting the game plan going. But like I said, but once I can at least get to a point where I can start blowing up gems, uh, theoretically, it should be smooth sailing after that. So now, I can just go back to casting that. And... So... So I can just go ahead and uh, blow some more of them up. And in case I didn't, in case I forgot to mention, one thing this ability has, it causes a dust storm. So for six turns, more uh, brown gems or uh, more brown gems are going to drop in other colors. It's not a massive percentage. It'll. It'll tip the balance in my favor, but again, it's not like a landslide victory or anything. Okay, so not that many browns. Got some red got some red gems, so I'll go ahead and blow them up. We're off to a good start here. So, but like I like I said, there's this time around, there's gonna be a ramp up period. That's again, that's a big drawback with this. If I don't get the gems I need at the time, I'm hosed. of either, but since the red gems are more scattered out, I'll go ahead and go with that. And it's also going to cleanse all the debuffs. But, again, like like the bottom trait says, it's going to it's gonna randomly buff somebody. Every time you match four or five. So I... Yeah, I won't say, but like, the guy on the top, he's submerged, which means he's immune to AoE damage. So yeah, 
I got to get going on my blog post, but so I'm going to go ahead and finish out this battle and I'll call it a video. So, so once again, to reiterate, um, my, uh, my team is more solid now. It, it uh, checks off more of the boxes, covers more of the bases. But on the downside, though, it's going to make for a long ramp up because I now, at least in the beginning, I have to sit here and manually start start doing gem matches. So it's going to be during that period, though, is when I'm going to be super vulnerable. So, But otherwise, uh, that's my video. Like I said, I just, don't, I just want to do a quick explanation of my team. So let me uh, work on getting this uploaded and processed and all that and add it to my blog. So thanks for watching, everybody, and see you all next time.